Dune Awakening is the latest MMO survival from developer Funcom Games. Now, I know you already know about this game, so let's get right into it, starting with Arrakis. Arrakis is the home world in the Dune series, a desert planet made mostly of sand and rock. Starting off in Dune Awakening, you're a prisoner crash-landed from a ship who must scavenge, salvage, and fight your way through in order to dominate. You're going to do a lot of stuff, and when you do it, it's going to be great. Don't you even worry about that. Look at that sand, and look at that thing. That's the hand of Kadir. You're going to see that a lot when you're going in through the desert here, flying around, walking around. Look at all that. That's so much sand, dude. You're going to be trying to get out, get all, out, out there, and it's going to be hard. Cause you're gonna be in the sun and it's gonna be really hot and you don't want to be out there when it's hot moving on in the combat look at this shooting guns tanks flying around in them ornithopters see what that says that says that's ornithopters it says that listen to this explosion see that was cool you're gonna be fighting all types of stuff rolling around and you can't be out there a lot because there's a sandworm out there. And there's a couple of them too. And they'll they'll find you if you're out there too much. So you can't be. So don't go out there unless you're ready to rock. And look at that. You can shoot a bunch. Look at that blue plant on the right there. That's crazy looking. And check that out. You got skills. You got abilities. You got guns. You got melee. You're jumping. You're flying. There's a flamethrower. See? You can even put the flamethrower on a tank and then you blow that tank up with a laser beam and then you can crawl. I don't think you can actually crawl. But check this out. You're floating. Look at that purple sh**. That's the, that's the sign of a floating guy. See, that got it too coming off. Them. You can't really see it there, but look. He doesn't have it either, but it's there. See, see they got it a little bit. And look, you're walking up and you, you can even offer your hand. Oh, I didn't put that part in. Anyway, moving on to vehicles. Driving around, flying around, sand biking. So you, you, you and your homies get together, you're flying together, and you're like, yeah, let's go get that purple thing over there. And then you fly, and you take your little, you take your little, uh, your harvester guy with you, and you're bringing him over there. And then you fly over there, and you go get it. But then other people are also trying to go get it too. So you gotta fight them so they can't have it because you want it. And see, look, that's what it looks like. You're fighting them, explosions. And you get into the uh, thing, and then you take off. You go somewhere else because you already looted this place. And it's done, dude. It's done deal. So you gotta go back to your base, take all your stuff back in there. And then now, you, uh, if you don't want to fly, you can drive too. So driving is like flying on the ground. And what you'll do is, You'll get into one of these ground planes and you'll f you'll fly on the ground around and you'll go chase after stuff like that flying through the air and it's crashing down there you got to go race through the desert look at this look at that racing around through the desert skibbity-doo just driving like a madman and then you'll be where you're trying to go and you can get in and out of the car which i think is pretty cool and um and look, you can put your car up on this, and you can change it, you can modify it. Custom stuff, putting guns on things. There's all the vehicles together in one family photo. Look at that, that's cool. And then that's, the, that's everyone having a party together again. Moving on. The dungeons in this game aren't dungeons at all. They're eco labs, and that's where the plants are. You thought this was just a game about sand. Well, you're a stupid person. Because look at this, there's plants. Look at it, it's green. You want to see green stuff? You go to these places. And that be and more than just having green stuff, there's like loot and uh, stuff in there too. You're going to want that because it's going to make you look even cooler. And everyone's going to say, wow, what a cool looking person. I wish I had half the percent of cool that they got going on. But they won't because they won't be in these eco labs because you'll be there stealing all the cool stuff for yourself. You cheeky little devil, you. And look, you can walk around. There's a bunch of fog. 
All right, those guys are jogging. So you can jog too if you want. Look, you can put on these cool, uh, like Oompa Loompa looking little suits and you walk around in the dark. You got your flashlights. But be careful because people can walk around in the dark too behind you and they'll come, they'll come get you. And look, here's a bunch of other places. You got your red place, your green place, and your blue place. And then this is what it looks like on the outside. So if you didn't know what it looked like on the outside, now you do. Look at that. The way they made it look, it's got the the rock there. And see, it's got this little circle opening in the front. That's what that looks like now. So now you know. Look, you're walking around. You walk into one of these places. You can walk, walk into one of these places too. Speaking of that, look at this. Sandworms. You know them. You love them. Everybody wants to ride one. Nobody's gonna get to ride one. Boo freaking who, dude. Wait till next year. All right? The worm is gonna come take all your shit. You'll be walking around being like, ah, look at all this cool stuff I got. And then all of a sudden you'll hear a hiss. And that hiss will turn into a boom. And then the boom will be in your face. And you won't be able to walk anymore because they will have eaten you. And so look, you're walking and you turn your camera around. It's like, oh, shit, I didn't know. Well, you should have known. You should have been prepared for this. Have you not seen the movie? What are you doing? It's a multi-million dollar movie. It got like three awards. And so look, you're out there. You can't run away from that thing. Look at that thing. That thing's too big. It's going to eat all of the stuff that you got. All that cool stuff we talked about in the eco lab is gone now. And then the night falls. And see, now you know, there's a day and a night. Who would have figured the sun rises and it falls and you can be outside in the dark and it's not as hot and then you can walk around, but be careful because they looking for you. They got you. You're a prisoner, remember? And you escaped and you're a bad person. And they're coming to get you and you can do all this cool stuff at night, like, like running around, basically everything you can do in the daytime, except now, you don't have to worry about water so much. And look at that. That thing's up there in the sky. You can't go there. You don't have a spaceship. Who do you think you are? Flash Gordon? You're not. But you can trade. You can go to villages and trade up all the cool stuff that you've been saving and get other cool stuff for it. And that's called economy. All right? This is the fabric of a democracy. In Dune, there is no democracy. I don't even think there's a government system in place on Arrakis. Doesn't matter. You can still trade, and there's moons, and the moons are what happen when the sun is gone. So if you want to see them, you gotta wait till night. But listen, more importantly, factions. You want to hang out with your bros? You think they look cool wearing the stuff they're wearing, and you want to wear it? Well, you gotta faction up. You gotta go over to the base that they got and you gotta say, hey bro, I like the fabric that you got. I like the cut of your jib. And they say, all right, you want this jib? You gotta do some missions. And you go do those missions. And then they give you the jib, dude. That's what it's all about. You wanna hang out at the Atreides base? You gotta jib it up with them. But look, see, Harkonnens are chilling. Atreides is chilling. Those people from, I don't know where they're from, but everyone's in the same place trying to kill each other. This game does not want you to chill. Speaking of not chilling, surviving. This is the definition of not chilling. You're walking around, it's hot. You gotta drink water. You gotta stay out of the sun. You gotta open up these sparkly little chests with the green stuff on them, that, those are chests. You gotta get what's inside them so you can wear these cool eyeglasses. And then those guys are coming for you. Those are the Sardaukar. They're flying around in ships. But you're too busy cutting up ornithopters with your cutter ray. Two different kinds of cutter rays, by the way. Look at that one. It's two-handed, and that one's one-handed. If you had any doubt in your mind, those are the screenshots for you. Look at him cutting the stuff, making a magma. And he's cutting the rocks up. And you're drinking from the snow, the dew, the dew beds, snow beds. And then the sand, look at it. It deforms as you walk. And you can also jog or run, I suppose that would be considered. The point is, look at the sand. It's incredible. It's everywhere. Even the mice are like, wow, this is great. Pretty sure you can eat those mice. Not actually sure about that. I'm pretty sure though, you can blow them up. I know that much. That's what the devs said. Speaking of blowing up, look at this, the spice. 
The spice is twice as nice. It's everywhere, man. And it's coming out of the ground in these big old plumes. You see the plumes? You bring the doom in the on the dunes. And then look at you, you're tired. This guy's got no water in his system. He can be killed easily. You gotta drink enough water, and then, then you can fight all day. But don't go out into the sandstorms, because you look like these people. But if you do go out there, you might find some sweet ass stuff. We're talking loot, boy. You want the good loot? You gotta put up with the storms. And the storms, they'll beat your ass. But you gotta have a good still suit on. Because if you do, you maybe won't be so dehydrated, you dried out bitch. But once you get all that locked in, then you can start building the sweet base where your operations take place. Let's talk about it. Constructing a base is the most important thing you'll ever do in your life. It's the only way anyone knows that you're cool. Forget all your loot, forget all your gear. How sick is your base? Is it as sick as this one? Probably not. I think the devs put this together for the, for the marketing. Your base isn't gonna look like that. It's just gonna look like a box. You've played Minecraft. Your base skills suck. Just admit it. You want a cool looking base? Nah, -uh. not gonna happen. Never gonna look like this though, for sure. Even though they provided you with all these awesome build pieces, you're not gonna use any of them the right way. And your base is gonna look stupid. It's not gonna use any of the cool lumen technology that you're seeing here. It's just gonna look really basic. But it could look good if you had any skills or taste at all. It's a sad thing you don't, because they put in a ton of work and you're just gonna blow it all with a lame base that doesn't look great. But again, if you tried hard enough, you could have something awesome like this. And that's why this game is gonna be the best game. Hope you enjoyed Whatever I've been saying, please subscribe for more content like this. <laughs> okay, bye.